India's Ministry of Defense has approved the revival of two long dormant advanced landing grounds, Chushal in Ladakh and Anini in Arunachal Pradesh, near the LAC, to strengthen border defense. The upgraded airstrips will support IF transport aircraft, helicopters, and UAVs, ensuring rapid response and surveillance. Chushal, pivotal in the 1962 war, and Anini, long dormant, will get new runways, shelters, and fuel depots. Set for completion by 2026, these upgrades enhance India's forward infrastructure amid ongoing tensions with China. Morocco is set to replace its aging French armored vehicles with 400 Indian-made Tatawap 8x8 platforms, boosting mobility and firepower amid regional tensions. Produced locally at Tata's new Barekid facility, the WAP offers multiple variants, light tank, infantry fighting vehicles, mortar carrier, and troop transport, ensuring modularity, cost savings, and job creation. The deal, part of an India-Morocco defense pact, shifts Rabat away from European suppliers, enhances compatibility with U.S. Abrams tanks, and strengthens Morocco's rapid response capabilities. DRDO has launched a new project under its Technology Development Fund to create a ballistic sensor suite for India's battle tanks, enhancing protection against RPGs, ATGMs, and advanced munitions. The initiative, open for industry proposals until October 7, 2025, aims to develop 360 degrees radar and electro-optical and infrared-based detection for active protection systems. Targeted for tanks like Arjun Mk1A and T-90s, the project strengthens India's armored forces under Atmanirbhar Bharat, ensuring faster threat response and battlefield survivability. Telangana's T-Works, incubating under Axial Aero, is developing advanced full-motion flight simulators for passenger jets, fighters and helicopters to cut dependence on costly U.S. and European imports. Priced at Rs 25 to 30 crore, which is half the global costs, five units will be delivered within three years. With over 70% local content, the simulators will support civil aviation's pilot surge and the IF's modernization, while creating 500 jobs and boosting exports, making Hyderabad a rising hub for aviation training technology. India plans to buy more 40 N6 ultra-long-range missiles from Russia to strengthen its S-400 air defense systems. With a 400 km range, the 40 N6 can target aircraft, UAVs, crews, ballistic, and even hypersonic threats. The move follows a reported record intercept of a Pakistani AWNC aircraft during Operation Sindor in May 2025. Building on its $5.43 billion S-400 deal, India seeks enhanced deterrence against China and Pakistan, while balancing U.S. Katsa sanction risks. India is negotiating to buy six more P-8I maritime patrol aircraft from the U.S., but the Navy insists on integrating the indigenous NASM Mr. Anti-Ship Missile. With a 350 km range, NASM MR would boost the P-8's strike power beyond the Harpoon's 200 km. The program, led by DRDO, supports Atmanirbhar Bharat and reduces foreign dependence. Despite rising costs and trade tensions, the Navy views this upgrade as vital to counter China's naval presence in the Indian Ocean. The Indian Air Force is in talks with U.S. base Maitreya to wet lease a second KC-135 Stratotanker by early 2026, following delivery of the first by year-end. The move expands a three-year deal, signed in March 2025, to address reliability issues with IF's Russian IL-78 MKIs. Operating from Agra, the ex-French tankers will provide 80 to 100 refueling hours monthly for Su-30 MKI, Rafale, and Tejas jets. This bridge solution strengthens readiness until India procures its own MRTT fleet.
DRDO and ADA are exploring plans to convert early Tejas LCA prototypes, unsuitable for MK1A upgrades, into unmanned platforms to test next-generation autonomous technologies. The initiative aims to develop Level 5 autonomy, where aircraft can execute complex missions without human control, aided by advanced sensors, AI, and secure data links. These test beds would support future programs beyond AMCA and Guttuck, preparing India for sixth-generation warfare concepts like swarm drones and manned-on-man teaming by 2045. While promising, the project faces challenges in AI development, funding, and modifications, with implementation expected around 2030-32. The twin-engine deck-based fighter, TED-BF, designed by ADA, as India's carrier-borne multirole jet, was meant to replace MiG-29 Burmese Chats and rival Rafale-class fighters with semi-stealth features and twin GF-414 engines. Despite ambitious goals of a 2026 first flight, the project is stalled, with its critical design review still pending. Funding delays, shifting Navy requirements, and design changes have slowed progress pushing induction to 2033 to 35. Experts suggest an IF land-based variant could be a cost-effective alternative to imports, but government approval remains awaited, even as hopes rise for prototype funding soon. On September 26, 2025, BML, Bharat Forge and Data Patterns signed an MOU in Pune, to jointly support India's fifth-generation AMCA program and participate in ADA's expression of interest. This comes soon after LNT partnered with BL, combining aerospace and defense electronics expertise. With the LNT-BL consortium leading early, other contenders, Tata, Adani and Hal, are forming rival groups. Proposals for building a full-scale engineering model and five prototypes are due by September 30th after which ADA will issue RFPs to shortlisted bidders. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.